Hello, welcome to uh, lesson 11, exercise one. This is a really cool program uh, that we're going to write here as an exercise. We're going to write a program that asks the user to guess a number between 1 and 20. The correct number in this case we're going to say is 17. Uh, if, if 17 is not entered, the program says that the wrong guess was entered and tells the user if the guess was too low or too high. If 17 was actually entered, the program tells the user they were correct. Now here's the kicker. We want to wrap the relevant code inside of a do while loop so that the user can continue to place guesses without rerunning the program. We're going to use the scanner class to read in the numeric keyboard entry. What makes this program different from similar guessing programs that we've done so far is we're using a do while loop to continue to ask the user to guess, 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 guess until the right answer is implemented. That's the main difference and that's kind of the, the utility of, of, of a do while loop in many cases. So. We're going to use the scanner class, so we have to import that guy as always. We'll create the scanner object here. We're going to call it keyboard. And we have to have a uh, variable to hold what the user's typed in, so we're going to create an integer called number guess. Uh, and so what we're going to do is read the keyboard entry in and put it into this variable and then do our magic. Now here's what we need to do. We're going to create a do while loop. So the do is started here. And inside the do while loop, the first thing we do is ask the user, guess my number between 1 and 20 the line directly beneath it actually reads the keyboard. The, the if here is what we've been using all along, it's just checking the keyboard to make sure an integer is there. And if it is, then we'll read it in and we'll assign it to this number guess variable that we have. So this variable now contains the guess that the user typed in. Now if this guess is less than 17, that means 16, 15, 14, anything less than 17, then we will print out the following error message. Incorrect. You guessed, and then we'll put the uh, number that they typed in. That's the variable. And then the next uh, part of it says too low. The reason we know they're too low is because this if is triggered if their guess is less than 17. It's a single line if, so there's no brackets here, but it's basically the one if and then the one execution statement. Now, if the number guess is greater than 17, it's very, very similar. We print out incorrect, you guessed, and whatever they typed in, too high. So it's just a simple print statement uh, coming under each one of these loops. So when they type something in, either the guess is going to be too low, too high, or it's going to match exactly. If it's too low, we print this. If it's too high, we print this. And if neither one of those uh, check out, then the only thing that could possibly happen is if they guess correctly. So the, the, the loop here, which is this entire block, from this curly brace here all the way to this one down here. Um, this whole thing executes while number guess, what they typed in, is not equal to 17. So if they type 15 in, it's going to get down here. That's not equal to 17. The loop will continue again. Next time through, if they type the number 1, then that's not going to equal 17. It'll keep looping and looping and looping, doing this thing all the time until we actually hit 17. When we hit 17, the do while loop stops. And then we jump out of it, which is the very next thing. The next statement says, you guessed 17. That's correct. Um, the reason we know that they're correct in this statement here is because the loop continues to function as long as they keep guessing wrong. The only time the loop actually stops running, it goes forever and ever and ever until they type 17. So we put a statement right outside the loop to tell them that they were correct because we know that they have to be correct in that case. So let's run it. Uh, we'll run in here, guess my number between 1 and 20. So we'll put, let's say, 8, hit enter, and it says incorrect. You guessed 8, too low. So up until this point, it goes in here, reads the keyboard. We get into this if statement here, because we're less than 17, and we print this out. We come to the bottom. Number guess was not equal to 17, because we typed 8 in. So the loop starts over again, and we're asking them again to guess between 1 and 20, and now we're waiting for keyboard input here again, just like last time. So here if we put 10 in, same thing happens. Incorrect, you guessed 10. And again, if we put, you know, 15, again, uh, enter 15. Incorrect, you guessed 15. That's too low. Now let's guess too high. If we put 20 in, incorrect, you guessed 20. Too high, because in that case, we read it in, and now number guess is greater than 17, so we print this statement here. Again, we get down to the conditional number guess is still not equal to 17, so we cycle through the loop again and again and again, and I can keep putting as many things in here as I want to until finally I'm going to be smart and I'm going to type 17 in, and then it says, you guessed 17, correct. So that's quite different than before. In that case, 
um, this if is not triggered because when I type 17, number guess is not less than 17. Number guess is not greater than 17. So it gets to the while condition. Um, number guess is actually equal to 17. So this is not true anymore. And so the do while loop stops and then we print this statement. There are many, many ways in order to accomplish the same task. Your code might look different. Even, even with the same description of the program, your code very likely will look different than mine. That's okay. As long as it's functioning the same way, that's what we want uh, to, to make sure that you're, you're getting across. This kind of logic and thinking about things, there's no right way. I'm sure that there are plenty of other ways that make perfect sense that are great ways to do this. This is just my way. So as long as you're doing it right and you have your own logic and you are understanding it yourself, then you're doing just fine with do while loops in Java.